Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to download fonts and also download script view for Jim, GIMP. Sorry, I spelled GIMP. Uh, so first off, you want to go to defont.com and you'll get to this website. You can scroll down through a bunch of different texts. Here's the all new fonts. You can search by a type of font. Uh, let's do fire and ice. This one's kind of cool. Font type. And you got all these. I'm just going to download this one because it's the first thing that popped up. Uh, you can also search fonts. A lot of other tutorials, as you may see, will use Dodger font. I typed that in wrong. Sorry. It's the D. But you get the idea. You can search font there. And if you want to import the font to GIMP, what you want to do is GIMP. God damn. Uh, you open the file folder that you downloaded it to. Then you also want to open up a folder of your hard drive, which I already had set up. Mine's Windows 8, whatever. You want to go to Users, then whatever user you're at, and then open up GIMP 2.8. You can search in here, but it never works for me usually. Uh, then open up the fonts title, and then you want to click and open this folder, Blazed folder. There can be one, or there, there can be one uh, file here, or there can be multiple. See how like there's two action comic ones here, two of vengeance ones, three burrows. And then there's a bunch of Dodgers you can see down there. You just want to grab it, select it, and then copy it to fonts, and then you can delete it later or whatever. So for this case, I'm just going to leave it like that. So I downloaded Blazed. I'll show you guys how that works in a second here. And then if you want to download Script Foo, you want to click here. It will only let you open up one. I'm Windows, so the Windows is the first one. I'm not sure which one the other two are, but if you try to open up one that's not yours, it will take you to this registry or uh, this type thing, whatever all this means, code, some kind. So you won't even be able to download it. You'll only be able to download the first one. I already downloaded it, but what you want to do is same thing with the fonts. I'll just use a font as an example. So you want to open up the folder. Then you want to go back into your hard drive. But instead of fonts on GIMP 2.8, you want to go to scripts. Double click that, and then you see how I have script for already downloaded. You would just click on the file folder again, and then just drag and drop. I'm not going to do it because that's good my thing, but you get the idea, hopefully. It's not too difficult. And that's at registry.gimp.org slash node slash 186. I'll put that link in the description on defont.com. So when you open up GIMP here, so when you open up GIMP, just open up a new file real fast whatever default settings are. I'm just going to do a text box here. Type in hi YouTube. See that? See that? And then I just have this tab opened here. Go to my blazed font. See what that's what I'm talking about. So this is what I'm downloaded. Uh, where is it? Be help. Full if I need my ABCs. There it is. And then there's the boys font. And then for script foo, you see how I have it right here. What you want to do is you want to go to down here to script foo, and then you want to do refresh scripts. And what would happen is it would take a few seconds, and then you'd get this little uh, layer effects or this drop down menu. Sorry, that's what you want. Um, it will take a few seconds for it to register. I'm just gonna. Do a little thing so you can kind of see what happens. This pops up with certain things that you're doing with it. Um, different settings for different things, obviously. But that's how you download script foo and get it to a toolbar. Or I don't even know what you call this, hot bar. And also how you download fonts and use them. Hope you guys enjoyed this crappy video. Please leave a like, subscribe, comment, support the channel. Thanks guys, I'm out.